Most KPI cards just show a number, but these react. I'll show how to build these KPI cards with arrows that change direction and text that changes colors automatically. And my plan is to use the little cards at the top left to show the key metrics and their year-over-year -year change. So I'll start off on an empty worksheet to create these. And I want to show that you can do this with calculated fields and you don't have to rely on just the metrics within your data set. I'll start with gross margin, which is the sum of the gross profit divided by the sum of the revenue. And I wrap these in the sum function to make sure that Tableau adds everything up first, then does the division. The second calculated field I'll create is for the operating margin. And this is the sum of the operating income divided by the sum of the revenue. And the last one will be for the return on assets. This one is the sum of the net income divided by the sum of the assets. Now that I have my three metrics, I'm gonna double click on measure names to create a table. But I don't need all these extra ones, so I'm gonna remove all the ones that I don't need. That way we're left with just our three calculated fields. My dataset also has multiple years, so I'm gonna drag date into the filters and choose a relative date. That way I can select this year only. I'll start by formatting the headers so they're a little bit bigger and a little bit lighter. Then for the alignment, I'll choose center. And to get rid of those lines, I'm gonna to go to borders so I can remove the row divider. To format the values, I'll use text within the marks. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bolder and a lot bigger since these values are the ones that matter the most. Then I'll use text to go to the alignment so I can center them. And since these are all gonna be percentages, instead of formatting the measure values one at a time, I'm gonna right click on measure values and hit format. That way when I change the number formatting to a percentage with one decimal, it adjusts all the measure values in the table to that format. To add the deltas or year-to-year -year change, I'll start by duplicating our gross margin field. Then I'll edit this field, and before the gross profit field, I'm gonna type if the year of the date equals the year of today. Then do the gross profit, and put an end at the end. So this is gonna give me the gross profit for this year. And I'll repeat that same structure for the revenue, which is gonna give us the gross margin for this year. Then I'll wrap this whole function in parentheses and copy what we have. I'll type a minus sign and paste. And after the year of today, I'm gonna to add a minus one. That way I'm getting last year's gross margin. So this is gonna give us the delta or year over year change in gross margin, which is just this year's minus last year's. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly fast forward through me doing the same thing for the operating margin and the return on assets. To save time on formatting, I'm gonna duplicate the worksheet. Then I'll pull in our three deltas and remove our three original metrics. And I also need to remove our date filter since we're looking at the year over year changes. I'm gonna start by removing the header and I wanna add little arrows that show whether it's a positive or negative change. So I'll right click on measure values to format them. And this time I'm gonna do custom formatting. And I'm gonna copy and paste the Unicode upward triangle character before everything. Then I'll type a semicolon to separate the positive and negative values. And I'll copy and paste the downward triangle and type 0.0%. .0%. Then I'll type another colon and 0.0%. Tableau uses this three-part custom number format syntax. So it's the positive format, semicolon, the negative format, semicolon, and the zero format. To make these colored by positive or negative, I'll drag measure values into the marks and make this a color. Then I'll edit the colors using the legend and choose custom diverging palette. On the left side, which will be negative values, I'm gonna make this a red. And on the right side, which will be positive values, I'll make this green. Then to ensure I'm only using two colors, I'm gonna check off stepped color and make this only two steps. And I also wanna make sure zero is always the center. So I'm gonna to go to advanced, select center and keep it at zero. To format the text itself, I'll use text within the marks. And I'll make this a little bit smaller and less bold. Then I'll rename this worksheet to be for the metrics change. And on the dashboard, I'll start by adding both our worksheets. I'll hide the title of both worksheets. Then I'll set both of them to the entire view. And since I'm gonna move these into the little boxes I created, I don't want the white background stretching all the way across. So I'll format the worksheet to remove the background. And I'll do this for the changes as well. Then I'll move the changes into the boxes under their current year metrics. This is a super small thing, but I don't like how the headers stretch all the way across to the edges of the boxes. 
So a little hack to fix that without changing the size is to edit the alias and add a few extra spaces between the words. That's going to force the text into two lines so it doesn't feel as crammed. It's a small aesthetic tweak, but it makes everything easier to read. And now we have a super simple way to display the key metrics and their year-over-year -year changes.